guide the twilight obsession. You don't have to be into teenage vampire love stories to understand that the opening of the latest Twilight film, New Moon, is going to be huge. Twilight is the story of a high school girl named Bella and her forbidden love affair with a teenage vampire named Edward. Kiss me. For actor Robert Pattinson, it's been a life-changing role. Even going to the store has become fodder for the tabloids. Escaping, you had to be sneaky about it. But, um, I mean, in general, people don't know where you're staying. I mean, it's, it's generally fine. Walk with a bit of a limp and stuff and kind of go, <laughs> and you're walking down the street and you're all right. Twilight, the series of books and movies, has become an international phenomenon, earning hundreds of millions of dollars and spawning hordes of obsessive fans who follow every inch of the storyline. I'm not scared of you. Kristen Stewart plays Bella, the teenager obsessed with the ultimate bad boy. I still trip out every time I see a, a, a group of like 2,000 screaming girls. You can't deny that energy. But Twilight has created another star you may be less familiar with. In the very northwest corner of the country, where tall trees grow through the mist and rainfall makes for a constant soundtrack to a slower way of life, an obscure logging town called Forks has just entered the Twilight Zone. Under near constant cover of clouds and rain, there's a small town named Forks. What are your thoughts about Forks, Washington? I've never been there. You've never been there? No, I, I, I'd love to. Twilight's story takes place in Forks, known as one of the single rainiest places in America, with an average rainfall of 10 to 12 feet a year, a statistic they tell you as soon as you walk in the front door at the Chamber of Commerce. I took a phone call, and I, this is true, saying I was going to come camping there, but I hear you've got a, a vampire problem. Marsha Bingham says the town revolved around two things before Twilight came around logging and rain. Today, she's more interested in Twilight's latest, which includes a little romantic tension with a Native American kid named Jacob, who just happens to be a werewolf. I like the fact that Jacob is warm and hot and, and very much in love with her. He's loyal. Warm and hot? Marcia, you're sounding like a schoolgirl. What's going on here? That's what Stephanie Meyer's books do to me and to uh, hundreds of thousands of others, the 67,000 who've come through our visitor center this year, for instance. 67,000 tourists in a town with a population of 3,192 and pretty close to zero tourist industry until now. Today, from the gas station to the motels, even the local key maker is selling Twilight goods. And then there's this strange item at the hardware store. We get people from Scotland, China, Japan, um, Europe, all over Europe. And they want to put on They want to put on Bella's vest. vest. The vest is small time. Meet Annette Root, queen of the Twihards. Hi. I picked up and moved my entire family to Forks, and I gave up a job I'd held for 18 years, stepped out into something I know nothing about, just took a big leap of faith because I loved it and I believed in it. She bet her entire life on Twilight, setting up phenomenally detailed stores that sell everything from fangs to jewelry. Hello. And she's launched the first Forks Twilight Tour, though competitors from California are close on her heels. This is the Cullen House. Feel free to check it out. We'll head over to the high school next. The tour takes Twilighters around town to such hot spots as the high school and police station. I've been waiting a long time to come, and it's everything I've looked forward to. Laura Hendershop came here all the way from Ohio, a cross-country flight followed by a four-hour drive. What do your uh, friends and family think? Um, my family think I'm crazy, <laughs> and my friends were very upset that I'm here because they're very jealous. <laughs> they wish they could all be with me. Julia Karazam is unabashedly proud of her obsession. She was anxious to take a picture at the town's high school where Twilight's Edward and Bella fell in love. How many times have you read these books? Um, <laughs> a few. <laughs> Janet Kim is wearing a lab coat modeled after one of the characters and loving it. Actually, it was my niece who got me into the books. How old is she? Yeah, uh, 13. <laughs> at the hospital, they now have a parking spot for one of the characters. 
There's a replica of Bella's old red pickup in town. Nearby in La Push, along the spectacular shoreline featured in the story, we met three Twihards who weren't on the tour, but were here all the way from Austria. What are your friends and family going to say when you tell them you've been to Forks? You've been to the place where the story <laughs> happens? My little cousin's going to be so jealous. She loves the book, so I need to bring her some, some stuff from here. <laughs> Most of the locations are made up because even though the story is set here, the movie wasn't filmed in Forks. Is it strange having people from around the world come to your house every day and take pictures? It is. It's pretty weird, but it's, it's wonderful. And it's drastically changed the reality of life in Forks. Is, is Twilight Tourism keeping this town going right now? Is that the main industry? Um, it is our biggest industry at the moment. We've got vampires and werewolves. And the craze just keeps getting go. bigger. Bigger, too, for the man who is the vampire and says, contrary to what the tabloids will tell you, he's not really a prisoner to his own fame. I don't think there are very many other series where, like, everyone is, I mean, every single comment which I see on things is, is always about concern for, like, well-being and stuff. So it's not that bad? It's not that bad, no. Life's okay. <laughs> it's still all right. <laughs> All right, it seems for just about everything this wildly popular story touches. No, Edward, don't! And the saga is far from over. I'm Neil Karlinski for Nightline in Forks, Washington. Life as a vampire heartthrob. Our thanks to Neil Karlinski.